Hello folks, beautiful winter day, sun is shining bright, what a blue sky, almost spring. And um, something on the topic of uh, condensers and coolers. We all know that the cooler the gas is, the more dense it is, the more powerful. To get it cooled down, we uh, have as a side effect that the moisture inside the gas also condenses out, which is another benefit. We have um, in our production system, you know, we have two systems, one system that is in full production and the other system here, which is for uh, raw testing and um, see if we can improve certain things in our production system. We um, solved the problem of uh, wet gas that is not completely cooled down and condensed out by preheating it uh, shortly to bring it above the dough point. Now, my old uh, filter condenser looked like this. You see uh, on the outside is some tar because we abuse this system and um, it works as follows. Uh, uncleaned gas comes out here. No, uncleaned gas goes in here somewhere. And uh, we have a hole and the gas comes in. If it's unfiltered, it goes out there. Unfiltered gas goes out there. And that's the unfiltered gas that we see there. We have um, up down here from about this, we have uh, six layers of filter medium. So when we close the valve of unfiltered gas, then the gas road goes like this. It's filtered and then it goes down here inside. Inside, it's a little bit rusty because I I haven't fired it for a few months. Inside we don't have tar. The tar we see here is from the heavy abuse. We do all sorts of uh, tests. Tar is shiny. But you have another annoyance um, thing. And that is what I call uh, sludge. It's uh, tiny bits of charcoal which make it through the filter mix with not completely condensed out wet gas and forms a sludge and gets into your carburetor system and uh, you have to clean uh, frequently. Uh, this system has very little uh, uh, cooling capacity. I have here uh, something like it's a uh, half of an inch pipe and I have here something like six kilowatts cooling capacity. Now that's not enough to fight the sludge and um, I'm trying to make a better cooler and uh, I have here already the uh, the cooling coil. It's now uh, consists of two uh, cooling uh, coils which will be connected together and uh, it's about 35 kilowatts now. So we have here the cold water out, yes, and the cold water in. Uh, we go counterflow, that means the cold water in goes all the way down, all the way down to uh, the first spiral, then spirals up, takes up the heat from the gas, cooling it. In the meantime, uh, condense out the moisture. This two will be connected and then they give me a little bit of warm uh, water already which is pre-warmed and then goes into the other uh, heat exchanger to get uh, even much wa warmer. And um, I hope that uh, the, the gas will be so much condensed out that I have a really trickle of water that trickles down onto my filter system which will be below here and uh, the trickled water will then clean the filter. Uh, that's, that's the new setup. 
for uh, for our uh, test system. Pascal he uses our uh, production system uh, day to day, as you can see several films uh, videos in our channel. I'm, I make a link of our production system, and this is our uh, experimental rig, as I said, which we can abuse very hardly and uh, it's only to serve uh, uh, testing uh, sometimes destructive testing uh, but uh, it uh, gives us some insight in uh, in some phenomena. now the insight we want to achieve now from this new cooling coil is to see how far down our gas will be cooled and how much moisture will be condensed out. I know uh, several uh, fellows, gassers, have the same problem and I hope uh, that uh, by showing our cooling uh, idea will bring up to them uh, some other uh, ideas. Don't look at the uh, at how the cooling coil is made, it's, it's, a, it's a hasty job it doesn't the, the aim is not to be uh, aesthetically the aim was to have uh, as much as cooling capacity uh, as uh, needed as i hope needed even uh, exceed so from 6 kilowatt we go up to 38 35 kilowatt now i will put this together it will take some time and then i put a video with the results uh, stay tuned uh, like this subscribe if you want to see further progresses and thank you for watching bye